This presentation is about describing sports activities in English. In English, there are several ways to describe sports activities. Generally, we use three main verbs, go, play, and do. The grammar we use depends on the sport or activity. For example, why do we say play tennis, go swimming, and do aerobics? Play sports. These sports are usually done with a partner or a team. A ball or special equipment is used. For the grammar, we follow the pattern verb plus object. Note that the sport itself is a noun, not a verb. For example, play baseball, play soccer, play basketball, play tennis, play hockey, play badminton, play racquetball, play ping pong, play football, play volleyball, play golf, play rugby. Now notice we can use this with other types of activities as well. For example, play cards, play games. We could say play board games or play video games. And this is often used with children's games, such as play tag. Go sports. Usually these kind of sports are done individually, but they can be done in groups or with partners. Often, little or no equipment is needed. For the grammar, you follow the pattern go plus verb ing. The activity can stand as a verb by itself, for example, swim, run, shop, or bowl, but we often use the word go plus the gerund form to describe the activity. For example, go swimming, go jogging, go hiking. These are all done without any type of equipment. But things like skiing, surfing, and skydiving do require some kind of special equipment. And we say go skiing, go surfing, go sky skydiving. We also have things that are not traditional sports, but they're types of activities such as fishing, camping, hunting. So we would say go fishing, go camping, or go hunting. Now there are other sports that require equipment and are not the traditional type of sports, but we have things such as go kayaking. We can add something to that like go canoeing. Then we have other water sports such as snorkeling, we'd say go snorkeling, or go scuba diving, which also requires equipment. We can also say go diving without any equipment other than the board. Then we have other sports such as skating. So we would say go skating. There are different types of skating, such as roller skating or ice skating. We can also say go skateboarding. The next one is really interesting. It's bowling. Now in a lot of languages we say play bowling, but in English we need to say go bowling. I think the reason for this is because you can say bowl by itself. For example, I bowl, we bowl on Thursdays. So in that situation, the verb itself can stand alone. Then we have other types of activities such as shopping, which is not necessarily a sport, but we do say go shopping. The do sports are done individually or sometimes in non-competitive groups. You'll see a group of people doing these types of sports and they might do it just because they enjoy the company of others, not necessarily to compete against them. For example, we have do aerobics, do martial arts such as karate, kung fu, taekwondo, or jiu-jitsu. We also have do yoga. Now, a general term for sports or exercise would be just simply do exercise. Now, as in a lot of things with English, we have a lot of expressions that don't necessarily fit in a specific category. Um, we have such things as work out, which generally means to exercise, but a lot of times it's talking about weightlifting. Now, we can say lift weights, 
we could also say go weightlifting. Now there are other sports such as wrestling or boxing which are used with the ing form but when we use them in a sentence we use the verb form I wrestle they box. Then we have other Olympic type sports such as track and field which are in the category all by themselves for example high jump pole vault shot put discus and then there are things like archery and shooting now another one that's kind of interesting is marathon marathon is a noun some people say do a marathon but a lot of people will say run a marathon and then of course we have other Olympic type sports which are a combination of things for example triathlon which is a combination of three sports and decathlon which is a combination of ten sports thanks for listening you can find more information about sports and activities at these websites the first one of course is eslgold.com there are a couple of pages there one is the vocabulary for sports and flashcards the second one is the grammar in dealing with sports and of course if you'd like to talk to someone in English about this or any topic go to besteseltutors.com and right under that is a link to the direct activity about sports.